Graduating seniors, honored guests, parents, relatives, faculty, and friends, welcome to Boston College's Quarantine Commencement Exercises for 2020, White Bear Lake Chapter. I'd like to thank the president of this esteemed institution, Father Leahy, Athletic Director Martin Jarmond, Doug Flutie, Chris O'Donnell, and the proprietors of Mary Ann's and Cleveland Circle. Well, isn't this just how you pictured it? A virtual ceremony with your parents and siblings in your childhood home? Depending on the restrictions in your state, maybe your parents could go shopping today. Maybe some of you woke up to gradua graduation decorations, received a card, or like us, we'll have some Boston cream pie later tonight for dessert. Yes, I'm sure this is how my daughter a member of BC's class of 2020. Yes, I'm sure this is how my daughter, a member of BC's class of 2020, dreamed about this day, sitting at home tonight, sharing a Boston themed dinner with her family because nothing will keep you healthy and safe in quarantine better than lobster from a Minnesota restaurant. To be clear, it's not my intent to make light of this situation. Any well-written 2020 commencement address must contain these two words. This sucks. And it does. COVID sucks. Scratch that. COVID sucks ass. It's killing people. It's shutting things down. It's all very, very real. In many ways, given the severity of all this, you graduates probably don't feel comfortable even complaining about your situation. So I'm going to do it for you. Because you did lose something, like you, I too graduated from Boston College way back in 1996. This makes me the perfect person to evangelize precisely what you missed out on. Good news, there is something you won't miss. The ceremony itself. Brutal. There is nothing more boring and usually more humid than a mid-May graduation ceremony. It's like putting you and a few thousand of your closest most hungover friends in a crock pot together. All of you trying your best not to vomit as you sit in a scorching stadium waiting for your name to be called. If any of you think you would have liked the ceremony itself, you should also know the graduation speaker at Boston College in 1996 was none other than Bill Cosby. So we had that going for us. But I'm going to be straight with you. There are things you did miss out on. That senior week I ran across Higgins Field I think that's what we called it, naked except for my Chuck Taylors. Someone told me it was what you were supposed to do. The campus emptied out and it was just us seniors and it felt like some sort of 1980s movie or 1990s movie, maybe St. Elmo's Fire. We drank a lot, we smelled the air, we appreciated and paid attention to our favorite places. The mods, Mary Ann's. Some of us hooked up with that friend you were never going to hook up with. Some of us hooked up with that person we always seemed to hook up with. We went to the Cape. It was all very, very Boston, very Boston College. You've probably had people tell you this pandemic, this quarantine was somehow good for us or even specifically good for your generation. It was God's way of telling us all to slow down. Well, I'm here to tell you that anyone who has told you that, they suck too. God doesn't work for Johns Hopkins, and he certainly didn't put a global pandemic on your Google Calendar when he could have just as easily bought you a subscription to Calm. No, this isn't good, and it sure as hell isn't good for you. This isn't the way it was supposed to be, so it's okay to be upset that you didn't get another Saturday at Mary Ann's while the rest of the world is upset about the pecking order for ventilators. It's okay to be sad. It's all relative and your feelings matter too. None of this is good, but you can get something good out of it. A gigantic double XL alibi. I know, I know, an alibi is usually evidence that absolves you from a criminal act. An excuse or defense often related to your whereabouts when something horrible has gone down. And I guess I could have just said excuse and told you to embrace the excuse that is this global pandemic. But what I'm suggesting isn't as innocent as the dog ate my homework. An alibi has ulterior motives. I couldn't possibly have been doing that when I was, in fact, here 
doing this. You get the idea. And if anyone deserves an alibi, it's you guys. I can say that because I'm a parent of one of you. If you're graduating from a place like Boston College, I can guarantee you that you know pressure. Some from others and a lot from yourselves. We've created a whole generation of people who need to sleep in mouth guards because they grind their teeth when they sleep. A whole generation of people who can't turn off because they have so much they need to do. Admit it, you all have a little voice in your heads telling you to keep up. Maybe it's telling you to get the job that will justify the investment to an institution like BC, or maybe you just want the next chapter of your life to make sense on social media. Because if you went like this, you need to keep going like this, right? Otherwise it's sad, stagnation, failure, plateaus don't get praise. As a parent of the class of 2020, I'd like to apologize. Sorry for making you cry on the way home from hockey games as I coached you from the front seat of the car. Sorry for pointing out the three things that could have been better in the final project you did just last week that had 97 things done amazingly right many of which you can't teach. Mostly, sorry for treating you like a project or the star player I get to coach in the game of life. Worst of all, sorry for doing my small part to make you think life was something you could actually win or do right. Because I hate to tell you, it's a lot more complicated than that. So if you can take anything from this COVID-19 disaster, take the alibi and run. You, ladies and gentlemen, now have a global pandemic-sized excuse to be anywhere you want to be when everyone thinks you should be someplace else. An alibi gives you permission to rethink your whereabouts. Listen to the beauty of that phrase, rethink your whereabouts. It sounds like your resident assistant if Bob Marley was a resident assistant. Rethink your whereabouts. Yes, instead of ticking the box on the perfect job for the perfect life, you can ask different questions. Maybe start with, where do I want to live? Where do I want to be? Why do we get a minute to ask these questions? Because COVID, that's why. I've given a lot of advice to my daughter over the years, way too much in fact. Again, sorry. You can Venmo me for the mouth guard. But if I gave her any advice that I'm actually proud of, it would be these five words. Don't try harder, try different. That's what an alibi lets you do. An excuse is for when you failed to do something you were supposed to do. An alibi is a reason you couldn't possibly have done the thing people think you could have done because you were busy doing something else. Yes, class of 2020, if anyone deserves an alibi, it's you. Think about it. When you stare at that little rectangle in your hands and you're scrolling through social media, that weighted blanket you feel on top of you is the entire universe telling you what they think you could have done what they think you could have been. It's the rest of the world framing you, putting a chalk outline around the life they think you should be living. But now you have an alibi, and an alibi changes the equation completely. An alibi introduces a whole new set of variables. An alibi gives you ulterior motives. Maddie couldn't possibly have started that internship where she's working 20 hours a day because as you can see from this chairlift photo, she was in Colorado skiing alibi. Peyton couldn't possibly have picked up that trophy at the 30 under 30 awards dinner last night because as you can see from this security cam footage she's in Bozeman Montana for some reason. Alibi. That's right an alibi lets you tell the world where you want to be where you are because really it's not such a crazy idea that the person who might know what's best for you might just be wait for it you. So yes, rethink your whereabouts, have ulterior motives, embrace the alibi. Because if this awful disease has given you anything, class of 2020, it's a moment to try different, to be someplace else when the rest of the world is trying to tell you where you should have been, where you could have been. An alibi is your defense and you deserve one. Now to be clear, I'm not suggesting the best course for every single one of you would be a gap year. What I'm saying is that you have a global pandemic-sized alibi at your disposal. Use it. You've got a honking hall pass in your hands. Use it. In your pocket sits a signed doctor's note which says it's okay to stop striving, to stop grinding, and to exhale. Use it. 
So quit staring at, down at social media and comparing. Quit letting the rest of the world do the math for you because they don't get to decide how you add up. You have an alibi. You have full permission to look up from your rectangles and start living life in landscape mode. To try different. Because you know, COVID. And as you're rethinking your whereabouts, you might just begin to find the most important destination of them all. You.